airline terminal project has been cleared for takeoff. The second phase of construction is now underway adjacent to the existing historic airline terminal. A large 1930s courthouse lantern will hang in the main entrance hall of the new airline terminal upon completion of the project. The lantern is six feet tall with rolled glass panes and is currently being restored with LED lighting. The light needed completely rewiring. We obviously don't do that, but we have an electrician and he came in and just rewired the whole thing and put all new pieces on it. Um, they don't really know who built it, where it was, you know, came from. Um, but it was hanging in the Hall of Records until, uh, I don't know, several years ago when they just found that there was a um, skylight uh, in the Hall of Records. So what they decided they wanted to do was open up the skylight. And so then, of course, this couldn't hang there anymore because it had a skylight above. The lantern is on loan from the Santa Barbara Courthouse Legacy Foundation. It is one of several new art and public places pieces that will serve to enrich the airline terminal visitor experience and reflect the history and culture of the region. So it's been sitting in the basement of the courthouse for I think probably seven to ten years and they asked us to go and have a look at it and see what it needed and it was so covered with dust, thick layer of dust, that I couldn't even tell if the glass panels were broken or intact. So I said we really need to get it to our studio and once we got it here we did a clean up, assessed what it needed and the biggest part that's been a real challenge for us is finding the glass because this glass we're not sure all the rest of the lights at the courthouse were made in Spain so it's possible that this was also made in Spain but the glass is a type of glass that they don't make anymore and it's not a mouth blown glass it's a machine made glass with a roller and I've sent the glass it's taken me five months I sent the glass all over the country to try and see somebody that could reproduce it without any luck so we're finally having to pick a glass that is similar but not the same the other thing that I think is really unusual about this light is it's painted. Mostly when you have a copper or a brass lamp, you let it do its natural patina because it's so pretty. But this one, I don't know if it's because they couldn't wait for a patina, you know, what the situation, but it's got a very interesting um, green and brown paint on it. So when we're finished, we're going to have to actually reproduce the paint to um, get it back to the matching what's originally on there. The biggest challenge on this one is just that it's so big and that the, everything is big. All the metal pieces are big, the solder joints are big, and usually when we use a smaller soldering iron that doesn't work on this, this big beast. So. Stay tuned in the months to come for more updates on the airline terminal's flight to the future.